This is Mr. Barrett. I'm going to show you how to set up your lab. First off, this is an empirical formula lab where you're going to be learning how to use a crucible. For crucible usage, you have your crucible. Your crucible is this little clay pot right here with a clay lid. You have your crucible to tongs, which are designed specially to work with the crucible, which will get really hot because it's going to be sitting in this iron ring with a clay triangle. And that's going to be above your Bunsen burner, where you are going to apply the heat source to do your reaction or do any heating within the crucible. My student assistant is going to help me here. What she's going to demonstrate is how to clean the crucible. So for the crucible, what you want to make sure is you use steel wool and you scrape really hard on the bottom of your crucible to try and get out as much gunk on the bottom as possible. All right, now take a look. You will never completely get all of the stuff out of the bottom. You're going to do your best, and there are procedures with how to clean it which require you to do some heating. Now my student assistant is going to demonstrate how to use crucible tongs. So when you grab the crucible tongs, what's really important is you grab it like that, and the tips of the tongs are actually pointed up. Now what she's going to do is demonstrate how to pick up the crucible. Notice how she sets it down on the table, closes it, and that little diamond part in the middle right here, let me demonstrate that, is actually holding it like a cradle right here. So she can lift that up and transfer it and put it into the clay triangle. Now, the lids are the most difficult part to move. The lid is necessary for heating. Go ahead and demonstrate how to lift that up and put it on top. You definitely want to practice transferring it, not at the great heights we're working, but definitely close to the ground and get used to moving it. Now she's going to demonstrate appropriate heating. So go ahead and turn on that bunts burner, please. She's going to take the gas line. Not turn it on yet, though. That's a common thing that she's demonstrating right there you don't want to do. You want to light your match first, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see how to light the match. Perfect. Go ahead and light it. Fantastic. Then she's slowly going to turn on the gas line until the Bunsen burner turns on. There we go. And then she can blow out the match. All right, so go ahead and turn up the Bunsen burner a little bit more, please. A little bit higher gas. Now what we want is a nice light inner blue cone. So down on the bottom of the, cruise, uh, the Bunsen burner is a little sheath that is on the outside of the barrel of the Bunsen burner. Could you please adjust it slowly until we get a nice light inner blue cone uh, on, the, on the Bunsen burner. We're talking about down here. And then go ahead and twist that slowly. And then you'll see the flame change. Keep twisting it. Keep twisting it. Keep twisting until, up oh, there we go, you can start to see a light inner blue cone. Now that's a little too much, so I'm going to show how to adjust it just right. It needs to be a little bit like, actually let's go ahead and crank up the heat a tad more, and adjust the flame like this. Now you'll notice the flame is actually not touching the bottom of the crucible. This is a problem. If you don't want to heat during this lab, all you have to do is move the Bunsen burner and just touch it with the bottom. The bottom part down here will not get too hot. So what my student assistant's going to do is she's going to demonstrate how to lower the ring stand. All right, then go ahead and slide the Bunsen burner underneath there. And what we're aiming for is we want the Bunsen burner to be touching lightly the bottom of the crucible. That looks good and that's how you'll be doing the heating for the lab.